What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is John of Jade Works Mandarin and in this week we're going to be doing a little tutorial challenge on how many pieces can we make from two metres of cinema. So if you're here looking for millinery tutorials, information on millinery, how-to, tutorials, challenges, anything, then make sure you subscribe down below and if you've already subscribed, hit that notification bell to be notified when we release videos in the future. Make sure you check out all my workshops in March. Remember, if you book by the end of this month, so you don't really have that much long left, if you book by the end of this month, you will get 10% off all courses with the code HATS10. Now as you can probably tell and from my voice over in this video, I'm not very well at the moment, I have a very sore throat so I apologise for the raspiness, for the, the rotiness of this video, massive apologies and also this video is late this week once again, big apologies for that, I'm obviously not doing very well, I've um, been interviewing last week so um, things have just got a little bit out of hand but it's here finally a couple of days late so let's crack on with this tutorial. So for this tutorial, we're going to need the following materials. Two meters of cinema, ideally one meter of a, one color and one meter in another color. However, you can just use one color should you need to. Three meters of grow green ribbon. And then to trim the pieces, you could have anything like, we used a rhinestone hoop. You could also get some beads and some crystals. We didn't use this, but you could use it. I mean, it's in the picture here and we may trim this in a later date with the beads and crystals. The only piece of equipment that we used was the button block from Hat Blocks Direct, which will be linked in the description box below. Cut both pieces of cinema together, and now you should have two pieces of cinema strips with a fold line down the middle. To make this piece, we need to make some long bias strips. So fold the cinema on the bias on both pieces of the cinema and pin these together to make the cutting easier. Then you need to measure up 4 inches from the fold line and mark a cutting line all along. Now we need to cut down that fold line resulting in 4 strips of cinema. Put any remaining cinema aside for now. I have covered bias cinema strips on tutorials on this channel before but here's a quick recap. Fold this to strip in half lengthwise and then open this up. Then fold the outer edges of the cinema strips into the middle and finally bring the outer edges together. At this point, I would press the bias strip with a steam iron, making sure that you press and lift the iron instead of moving the iron across the strip so you don't distort the cinema. Pin these cinema strips to a cork board in alternating colours and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a four strand herringbone braid. So to do this you need to bring the outer two strips into the middle and pass the new inner left strip over the new inner right strip. Pin this into place and repeat this again. So bring your outside strips to the inside and then the new left inner of the new inner right and start again and do and um, pin this into place each time using your fingers to mold that to make sure it sits nicely once you have finished um, the entire braid give it one last blast with some steam and leave this to fully dry Once this is dried, measure the strip to ensure it will wrap around your head and then pin together to make sure when it's on the head it doesn't slip around. 
trim the ends of the cinema strips and press the ends with an iron. And you could also use some clear thread and bind the ends of the cinema strips. Then where you've pinned the piece together, all you need to do is using some very, very simple stitches, sew this piece together and add some small loops of a hat elastic to the sides of the piece so you can wear this by securing with bobby pins and you are done. Cut two more bio strips of cinema, making one colour of the cinema wider than the other. Our strips were 6 inches wide and 11 inches wide. And you should have some small triangular pieces left. Don't throw these away because we'll be using these in a later hat. Take the shorter strip and fold it over as shown. Then line up the bottom of the larger strip with the higher edge of the short strip and turn over the lip which will encase all of the cinema strips together. Twist the cinema into the desired shape. We made an Egyptian looking turban crown which is at the back of the head and trim away any excess making sure you line up any edges to give you a nice finish. Then open up the piece, I mean we didn't do this but later on we did and we uh, should have done this at this point and attach a length of grogan ribbon to the inside of the piece along the seam allowance or the lip that we tucked in earlier and using a sewing machine just sew along that grogan ribbon and what that will do is that will encase all that cinema together. Pin the piece back together and then just sew that top piece together making sure you're hiding all your stitches in the cinema. And like with the previous piece, just add some small loops of hat elastic at the sides of the piece. So once again, this can be worn wearing bobby pins at just at the side of the head. This piece is very, very, very easy to make. It will take you 10 minutes tops. And to do this, take one piece of the remaining larger piece of the cinema and fold over all the edges once and then again on itself to seal the edges. Press this down with an iron and like always don't rub the iron across, just press, lift, press, lift and that will just seal the edges. Gather the cinema and press the centre with a steam iron and that will just hold that back plates in so then you can start arranging it later. Thread both ends of the cinema through the rhinestone hoop and then start to ungather your pleats to give it more of a fuller look. Fold the ends over the cinema that have come through the loop and pin these to the hat making sure it's got a nice look to it, it's got a nice flow to it and it doesn't just look forced because this is cinema and sometimes when it's really stiff that you end up being quite, it looks quite rigid. So try and um, steam it, try and get some nice less rigid effect here. Once you're happy with your pins and your gathers and everything, just sew all them pieces that you've pinned together and it's ready to wear. At this point, you could add a grogan ribbon on the inside, but if you look at the front, there is a little bit of a gap, so that's why we've not added one in this piece. So for this piece, you're going to be hand rolling and as this cinema was very stiff um, we threw it in a washing machine on a very quick wash and it was still a tad on the stiff side but it was a lot easier to roll so before you go any further if your cinema is quite stiff throw it in the washing machine on its own quick wash done it will be a lot softer and you'll be able to hand roll that so once you've done that you need to take the smaller triangular pieces that we saved from the second hat and block these over a small button block, making sure you line up the grain lines to ensure a really nice smooth blocking. Our purple piece was substantially larger than the orange piece, so we actually put that in the middle so we had a nice three-layered piece of cinema that we could use to block. Whilst this is drying, take the large piece that we've just washed in the, sh in the washing machine and roll all the edges. Uh, this will take a lot of time if you don't know how to roll I'll link something in the description box below to show you how to roll. Once the base is dried, add a piece of grain ribbon to the inside and then take this time to add some hat elastic as well. And then finally, fold, pleat and gather the piece of cinema until you have something which you like. Now this is the best bit because you get to just be very creative. You know, you don't necessarily have to fold it. You can just pleat it, um, you can just gather it, do whatever you want. Um, 
ideally keep the majority of the bulk to the bottom so you've got some nice height to the piece and once you've got something which you like attach this to the base with some clear thread so there you go four hats made out of pretty much two meters of cinema and in fact this is all pretty much we have left out of two meters of cinema and some grub ring ribbon it's not a lot there was not a lot of waste in this and this goes you know uh, yes the hats probably could be made with a better quality by using more materials but i wanted to challenge myself i wanted to challenge you guys so if you want to do this challenge make sure you send me some images to the email address listed and also in the description box below like always, make sure you follow me on all my social media. So we have Facebook, we've got Instagram, we've got Twitter, we have Snapchat, and we also have Patreon too. If you look out for Friday's video, and I promise that will be up on time, then we are going to be doing a new challenge, and this challenge is going to be the drunk challenge. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next week.